Physical problem. Assuming at height h meter, ball falls on the TT table and rebounds to x percent of its previous height. Then falls again during this error as shown in figure 1. I wish to examine the total distance travelled and number of bounces until ball comes to rest under the force field of gravity. Solution Let x and y axis are perpendicular to each other. The point of contact at point O initially at point P ball is at height h meter let us assume ball rebounds with x percent of its previous heights hence ball tracing a graph like that ball goes down up down up down up down up to n number of bounces it stops somewhere on x-axis x percent rebound rate of previous height edge let us take x1 x2 x3 up to shown be the point of contact with the tt table ball goes up and down with the same amount here is again same up to so on question is can we find the total distance traveled by the tt ball after n bounces let us assume this distance is dn we want to find it where n belongs to natural number n which is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to infinite. Therefore, dn equal to h plus 2 times x percent of h x upon 100 times h2 is here because this amount is exactly same with the amount plus again here this height is x percent of x percent of this x upon 100 square into h so on x upon 100 cube into h plus up to so on Another term is x upon 100 raised to power n times h. This x upon 100 times h is present in each term. We can take common. Therefore, we get h plus 2 times xh upon 100. 1 plus x upon 100 plus x upon 100 square plus up to so on here 1 is taken out x upon 100 raised to power n minus 1 what is this here is common ratio x upon 100 because this is geometrical progression series we know geometrical progression series with sum of n terms in gp is a into 1 minus Rn upon 1 minus R. Here R is x upon 100. We can solve here. This is A. What is A? A is 1. 1 minus common ratio is x upon 100 raised to power n upon 1 minus x upon 100. We can simplify here. 1 minus x upon 100 raised to power n divided by 100 minus x upon 100. 
this is numerator term this is denominator term we can simplify again we can write 1 minus x upon 100 raised to power n multiplied by 100 upon 100 minus x the sum of this square bracket term is this so therefore overall we get dn equal to h plus 2 times xh upon 100 square bracket 1 minus x upon 100 raised to power n times 100 upon 100 minus x this 100 cancel with this 100 what we left with 100 minus x we can take common it and writing like that h is again common square bracket will start 1 plus 2x upon 100 minus x square bracket 1 minus x upon 100 raised to power n this is the distance traveled by the ghost circle